What's going on guys? Welcome back to JR Garage and welcome to another crazy road trip video. Yes, you guys read that title correctly. I am about to road trip this car like 800 miles 13 hours all the way back home. I just picked up this car yesterday from Copart Auctions as a donated vehicle listed as non-running and with unknown mileage because they couldn't get the car to light up. But as you guys know, we have our little tricks with Porsches and we were able to get to the front battery, throw it on jump box and it fired right up. You guys saw that last video. Since then, I've driven the car, I think 24 miles and it seems to be pretty nice so far. I think the oil is super old and it's low on gas. This car has only been driven 1900 miles in the past three years so no wonder they donated it whoever owned it hardly drove the thing in these last years that they owned it so who knows with these big road trips problems always seem to show up I really hope nothing happens but you know 800 miles this is a lot for a car that hasn't uh, run in seven months overall I'm confident no check engine lights it seems to run really well which is a shocker we got fresh tires fresh brakes on these really rare BBS uh, sport classic wheels we're probably gonna sell these off the car because they're worth over two thousand dollars and then just swap on base wheels so that we can be in this car like 500 bucks. Remember, we got this car for like $2,400. I mean, how can you go wrong? Well, you could go wrong if it had like a blown engine. Nobody knew, that's the thing. Nobody wanted to gamble, but I love gambling on these early Porsches and it paid off big. Don't mind the horrifically dirty paint. You should have seen it when I bought, when I bought the car. You guys remember last video, it was even worse than this. I took it through one car wash and that helped a little bit, but still we have plenty of detail work to do, but it's just gonna get dirty again on the 800 mile road trip. So I figured I'd save it for when I get back. I mean, underneath all the dirt though, it's really gonna clean up. It's a really pretty like metallic burgundy red. So super excited to see how this cleans up. The only damage we have on the body is right here, the quarter panel. Not that bad at the end of the day, you hardly notice it. Okay, coming inside. This is gonna be my cabin for the next 13 hours. Oh no, I need to get the radio code from Porsche. Every time the battery dies for a long period of time, you have to insert a code and that is in the owner's manual. Uh, oh shoot, I didn't look in here. No way guys, last video I never looked in here. I didn't think anything was in here. No way, service documents, holy, oh jackpot. Okay, this is the registration, I can't show his name. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have the previous owner's name. I have his name. I will, should I look how big of a house he owns? No way. Okay, I'm not giving you guys the address, but I'll give you the fact that it sold for $5.5 million. This dude was rich, rich. Oh my gosh. No wonder he just donated the car. He's like, oh, it won't start. Oh, it won't pass emissions. Forget it. I'll go get a new one. Donate it. Okay, we got warranty paperwork, all sorts of receipts. Oh my goodness. All this work that was done, $1,300 receipt, just 900 miles ago was two years ago. He's driven this car 900 miles in the last two years. They did uh, TPMS light on, found rat chewed up TPMS sensor wires, check repair harness, check and replace pow power brake booster, uh, replace tie rod kit, 1300 bucks. That's just one of a whole stack I have in here. What a nice bonus. Gold mine, gold mine, okay. <laughs> All because I was looking for the Porsche code. All right, that should be in here somewhere. If it's still in here, the Porsche code. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here are all the options, a ton of them. I can't wait to look these up. Stay tuned for like part three and four. When I have more time, I'll go through this. Oh, come on, I want the radio code. I think it's in here somewhere. I think it's on like the first page. And what do you know, it was right in front of me the whole time. Radio code card right there. So we got five, three, two, seven. Let's give that a try. Five, three, two, seven. Yeah. All right, it works. If I wasn't already in love with this car enough, if you guys missed part one, go back, watch it. You can see how I got this steal at auction and how I worked some magic to know that hidden deep down inside this was a good car even though it didn't quite look like it from the auction description it sure sounded like it had a lot of red flags unknown mileage doesn't run the gauges don't light up you know none of this stuff like people would run away but i run toward it and uh wow i think we finessed again but i better not say anything too soon knock on wood 800 mile road trip i have no wood in here ah oh, only leather okay without further ado let's hit the road in the budget boxster let's get it
And no surprise here, our first stop is the gas station. Guys, use the Get Upside app, it's linked down below. Use our link, it'll get you an extra 20 cents off per gallon, but it gives you free cash back every time you get gas. And well, at these prices, it surely adds up quick. Everybody likes free money, so hit that link down below and get the app if you don't have it already. I don't wanna just forget you, but I wanna be fine. I'll be waiting for a sign to light up, yeah. And your heart is out of sight. I just wanna feel mine. All right, everyone, we're about two hours into the road trip. Everything is going well so far. The only thing I notice is above maybe 75, 80 miles an hour, there's a little bit of a shake in the steering wheel. So either the tires and wheels need to be maybe rebalanced or maybe one of them is bent, causing a little bit of a shake. Not exactly sure, uh, but aside from that, no warning lights, no odd noises. Obviously, it's not the quietest car because it's a soft top convertible. You know, I can hear people going by. But one thing I'll be very curious to see is the highway NPG. Obviously, we're not doing city driving. I mean, there are a few stoplights uh, getting onto this 152, and then I'll be on the 5 going down California, but relatively flat and smooth 70 mile per hour cruising. So it's a good test to see how efficient this engine is. This is the base 2.5 liter. If we can break 25, I'll be happy. If we see over 30, that would be crazy. But place your bets down below. What highway MPG do you think this car will average? Drop it down below and see if you're right later in this video when I fill it up next. All right, let's keep going. 95 degrees and I'm stuck on the five south. Ugh, I'm losing time to Vegas. I gotta be there for dinner tonight. Okay, update. We finally made it to the gas station, the halfway point. We used exactly half a tank of fuel. I'm gonna calculate exactly how many miles we went. We're gonna fill it full to the same level, and we are going to see, once and for all, I'm at the diesel pump. Let me back out to the gas pump. We will see what this thing got fuel economy. The factory rating on the window sticker is 24 highway, 17 city. Car performed really well. Um, I think we have like an upper control arm or maybe the strut mount bushings are shot. I think we saw last video. So it's making a little creaks and noises over bumps and stuff, but oh well, we can deal with that. Oh, and also that cooling fan, it seems to run for prolonged periods of time. You have to turn the key on again and then off and then it'll shut off. I don't know what it is. It'll just keep on running. So a couple little minor quirks like that that we got to solve, but uh, overall I'll take them. Nothing major. Oh man. I tell you what, a Porsche Boxster is not meant for a uh, guy 6'6". Six, six. I do not fit very well, and especially on a long road trip like that, my back is hurting. Gas tank up here, classic Porsche. Front right fender. Okay, she's full, and we got 7.861 gallons. Okay, let's do the math, see how far we drove. Do some quick calculations and then we'll have a fuel economy. 239.4 divided by 7.86. Yes, we broke 30. 30.458. Manufacturated this car at 24 and we got 30. 0.458. That extra 0.458 to break 30 was definitely because I only used AC about a fourth of the time, only when I was like dripping, sweating, and I just had to turn it on. Uh, but otherwise, I was going max uh, hypermiling mode. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with how this thing is doing uh, cooling wise. I mean, we just went up a huge hill, probably, I don't know, four or five miles of massive incline uh, coming up through like Mojave, California, or something like that. And uh, boom, we're still in the temps. It's still flashing at me. I don't know why, but we're clearly at a good range. We're like 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh, what's all that smoke up there? We got like a fire? Oh, dang, what's gonna happen when we crest this hill? Okay, well anyway, no fires in the car. It's running quite well, and I'm hauling up the hill at 70 miles an hour. What's it gonna be? Oh, oh boy, what is going on? Oh, dang, there you have it. Whoa, wee, yay, 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 that is right on the road. Oh. Whoa, dang, uh, oh, right there too, more fire, holy crap. Wow, unfortunately, the whole way down, I was looking at all the brush and I was going, man, if this thing lights up, you know, it's just got endless fuel. There's a bunch more fire, holy smokes. Look at all the traffic coming this way. I guess we're good to go. Oh, dang, you hate to see it because unfortunately, you know, it's probably going to get worse and worse and worse. All right, 
right, baby, we made it back in Sin City. There's Royalty Exotic Cars, Houston's business, right over there. Not bad for stock, just such a smooth sounding engine. But as we all know with an exhaust, these things sound wicked. I got a dinner reservation to get to, but bam, look at that. 575 miles on this first leg. To Arizona will be tomorrow. Man, is it dirty. But that'll come next video, we'll clean it up. Oh my gosh, this whole time I left the hood up. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that probably gave me one less MPG, dang it. But as I go over all the problems, here's the first one. So hear this, the cooling fans won't stop running. This side just stays going, so you literally have to come over here. The only way to get it to turn off is to put the key in the ignition to two, and then back off, and then it stops, see? You no longer hear it. So that's the first issue that I wanna mention because this video is the first road trip, and also we found some issues. Of course, you always find some issues. Luckily, they're all relatively small. So like I said, between, at some speeds in the 70s and 80s, the car starts to shake the steering wheel a little bit. So either tires and wheels are out of balance, need to be rebalanced, uh, I don't know, maybe. That's the easiest uh, course of action for the repair. Hopefully it's not a bent wheel. It could be something to do with the suspension. Like I said, when you go over bumps, there's a little bit of a rattle. So maybe it's that's what's causing it, or maybe tie rods or something like that. I really haven't had a good look at the suspension, so I don't know what that's gonna be. But some suspension loving is needed. Uh, what else, what else, what else? The right turn signal not staying up. That's a small issue, but it is there. A little knob missing right here, no big deal on the radio. At least it works now with the code. AC works. And then body-wise, we just have this dent right here in the quarter panel. What do you guys think? Can this be repaired? Does it have to be replaced? If you know body work, please comment down below. And regardless, even if you don't know body work, comment down below what do you think of the budget boxster series 2 do you think we got a good deal at like i said 3100 dollars out the door with fees as you see it now with the few issues i just outlined overall i think that's a steal so far i've invested 69 dollars uh 79 dollars 69 dollar battery and a 10 dollar can of seafoam just to run through the fuel because it's been sitting for seven months just to keep everything nice and fresh and it purrs like a kitten so i think all it needed was just some driving and some loving so can't believe we found all the previous information, all those maintenance records in there. I'll go through all of them another day, but there's a whole stack of them. I didn't have time this morning, maybe when I'm back at the garage, and then just the deep, deep cleaning on this thing. Maybe sell the wheels, what do you guys think? Sell the wheels and basically have a free Porsche again, or keep them because they do look incredible and make this thing a really nice presentable boxer. I don't know, give it away, sell it, keep it, mod it, I don't know, but comment down below what you guys think of the new pickup. I'm in love with this thing, holy moly. Okay, it's a late night, I gotta get inside. They've been eating for last 20 minutes, so I'm already late. But there you guys have it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode where we get this back to Arizona, clean it up. You don't wanna miss it. Stay tuned. See you guys.